Here we go, question 26 of the mixed exercise, chapter 12. So, total surface area of a cylinder with a fixed volume of uh, 1,000, so that's the volume, um, is equal to 1,000 centimetres cubed. Okay, is given by area is equal to 2 pi x squared plus 200 over x, where x is the radius. Show that when the rate of change of the area with respect to the radius is 0, x cubed, the radius cubed, is going to equal 500 pi. Okay, so the fact that they say that show that when the rate of change of the area, that's the changing of A, with respect to the changing of the radius, which is X, we need to do the differential of that equation. So 2 pi is just a constant, multiply by the 2, 4 pi, X, 2 minus 1, 1. This is 2000 x to the minus 1 so it becomes a minus 2000 x squared because it becomes a minus 2 1 lower okay um yes now then with respect to zero uh so show that when the area when it is zero we get an x cubed so if we put that equal to 0, equals 4 pi x minus 2000 x to the minus 2, we now need to get x cubed. Okay. Let's see now. We can take an x out of there. Um, divide by x, that will leave us an x cubed. Let's multiply by, let's bring 2,000 over here. So 2,000 x to the minus 2 is equal to 4 pi x. We're going to multiply by x squared. So that leaves me 2,000 equals 4 pi x cubed and 2000 divided by 4 pi is equal to x cubed and there are 500 fours in 2000 which gives us x cubed there we go next one then Okay, let's go for question 27. All right then. So, a wire is bent into a plane of shape ABCD as shown, and they've drawn us a nice sort of thing like that, which is A, B, they've put C there, D is back on the join and E. Okay. Uh, the shape ABDE is a rectangle. BCD is a semicircle with a diameter BD. Brilliant. The area of the region enclosed by the wire is R meters squared. AE is X meters. And AB and ED, AB and ED is Y meters. The total length of the wire is 2 meters. Okay. Total is equal to 2 meters. Find an expression. Find an expression for y in terms of x. Okay, total length of 2 meters. So, the. B, C, D, the radius of that, or the circumference perimeter of it, okay, is going to be 
pi times d, which is pi x, but we need to divide it by 2, and that will equal b, c, d. So we've got that. So we've got, for the complete perimeter, we've got 2 equals the side ae, x, plus y, plus y, plus pi x over 2. And they want this in terms, an expression for y, in terms of x. Okay, so we have 2y is equal to, let's go with 2 minus x, it's terrible x, minus pi x over 2. y is equal to 1 minus x over 2 minus pi x over 4. I'm going to make that into a 1 minus 2x minus x pi over 4. Um, and that should about do it. So I was going to take x out, but I don't think I'll bother. Okay, so prove that the radius, uh, the big R, which is the area, is equal to this. So area of part B. So area of um, the square ABED is going to be Y times X. And since we've got something for Y, we can just substitute it in here. So we've got is equal to X times 1 minus I think I'm going to leave it back here as x over 2 minus x pi over 4. And then we also need the area of the semicircle. So the area of BCD is equal to pi r squared divided by 2, and of course x, or half of x, is the radius, so we've got pi times x over 2, over 2, which, hmm, does that give us 4? I think it does. What do we have there? We've got pi x over 2 divided by that, multiplied by that. Is that just pi x? Okay. With that, what we need to look at. So I knew I didn't like that. I was looking at it and I was thinking, it ain't right, because what have I done here? I have forgotten the square. So we end up with pi x squared over 4, over 4, over 2 even. Um, does that give us over 8? Pi x squared over 8. Okay. So Let's see. Okay, with both of those in, we just need to add them together to get the final radius. It's not radius, but this big r centimeters squared is equal to the pi x squared over 8 plus x1 minus x over 2 minus x pi over 4. Looking back at what we're trying to get this, they want it as x over 8. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can do with that. x over 8 and 8 minus 4x. Okay, 
So that's going to be equal to pi x squared over 8 plus x minus x squared over 2 minus x squared pi over 4. I'm now going to write everything over 8. So I'm going to write um, pi x squared over 8 plus 8x over 8 plus um, 4x squared over 8 minus 2x squared pi over 8. Okay. We can now put a x and a 8 on the x side of a bracket. Okay, so these two here, 1 take away 1 means basically that time's gone. Okay, 1 take away 2 leaves us minus 1 of those. So if we're taking x and the 8, we are left with 8 from here plus 4x minus 2 minus not 2 but 1 minus pi x which is what they wanted okay given that x can vary using calculus and showing you're working uh, find the maximum value of r you do not have to prove that the value you obtain is a maximum okay so We can now take this and we can differentiate it. So we are going to do x. What are we going to do? We're going to have 8x over 8. I'm just multiplying it out. So r equals um, where's it gone? Okay, so. 8x plus 4x squared over 8 minus x squared over pi over 8. Okay, and so dy by the 8, so the differential of that is going to be um, dr by dx. So that's x, which is going to be just 1 plus, so that's a half, a half times the old one, times 2 is 1x to the power uh, 1 minus, uh, multiplying that by 2, 2x, two that's a quarter, isn't it? Um, x to the power 3. No, to the power 1, pi over 4. Okay. So with that done, we solve it equal to 0. So we can find the turning point on it. So 0 equals 1 plus x minus x pi over 4. Okay. And that gives us minus 1 equals x, 1 minus pi over 4. Um, dividing by that gives us x is equal to minus 1 over 1 minus pi over 4. Okay. What does that actually equal? Putting it into a calculator then. Um, 1 minus pi divided by 4. Okay. Minus 1 divided by that. Okay. So we have minus 4.6597. And if we have that... Hmm. we can put it in for the r which we were given so r is equal to x over
over 8. 8 minus 4x minus pi x. OK, and so when x is equal to minus 4.65, um, r is equal to go and after putting it into the calculator we are on a minus 24.043 as the maximum radius okay well I'm doing it and I'm looking at it and I'm really not liking the minus numbers so we had a track back here and I had a look and everything was looking okay now that is not correct just there because it's a plus 4x when you come up here it should be minus 4x over the 8 so just at that point there I dropped a minus sign so that should be a minus which means this should be a minus okay which then means as we come through all of this this one should be a minus as should that as should that okay so what does that mean for us over here it means that we end up taking an x out but we would have a minus on there which means we're divided by a minus there which gives us a plus basically i think uh let's just check that out um so we've got a minus one minus uh pi over four okay and then minus one divided by that Okay, so that there should be 0 0.560099. Okay, that's a bit better. Which means then, as we put it into the R value here, let's just tidy this all up. Um, that one. Okay, and that one, oh, I've got the minus there. I did there, don't know where it went in the rest of it. Okay, so we need 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56 in all of those. Okay, which then gives us uh, store that as x. Okay, so 8x minus 4xx pi. Okay, should be about r equals 0 0.280049 centimeters squared. Okay, watch out for the minus signs. Right, I'm going to leave it there for that video and do the last couple of questions next.